Hey guys, this is Ensco. Out here today, I'm gonna make another video on this very warm, but kind of windy um, Saturday. I believe today is May the 6th, 2023. And I wanted to show you guys my latest um, acquisition hobby that I'm adding to Insco's Adventures. And here it is. <clears throat> So about um, a little over a month ago, um, I don't know if you guys know, <clears throat> I don't know if I mentioned this, but I know I've, I've made up some videos with my niece. Um, she comes over every day after school, Carmen picks her up, my wife picks her up, and she spends uh, sometimes an hour up to two or three hours here till her dad picks her up when um, her dad gets off work we pick her up after school and uh, a while back she got a hoverboard and so when she would get home she would want to go ride her hoverboard and she and I we, we never stay at the house we always get out of the park or we're out riding through the neighborhood and she'd be on her hoverboard I'd be walking and sometimes she would get frustrated because she'd be like hurry up hurry up you're walking too slow so long story short I decided to get a, a very entry-level inexpensive scooter and I, I, wait, I, wait, I would ride the scooter as she was riding on her hoverboard. Well, that lasted one day. One day, she seized the scooter and she stole the scooter from me. And I remember we were out going to the neighborhood just riding and she takes over the scooter and I'm like, I can't ride this hoverboard. I remember telling her that like, I'll fall on my face. And she was like, well, you can carry it. And those hoverboards are heavy. So anyway, I ended up getting a second scooter, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna talk a little bit about. Um, and I'll give you a little reason why I got it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thing for a ride out to Choctaw to visit a friend of mine. And I'm gonna put the, these GoPros on the scooter and uh, <clears throat> take some video, see so you guys can see exactly what this thing does. So getting back to the scooter, this is made by Varla. It's called the Varla Eagle One. And uh, <clears throat> Let me tell you, the biggest reason that I, I'm going to enjoy this scooter is, of course, it's, it's completely electric, it is electric, and so, hey, no gas. I've rode this thing to uh, my work, man, five or six times, no issues, had no problems. So, the specs on the Varla. So, this thing has two 1,000 watt motors, one on the front tire, one on the back tire. It has a top speed of 40 miles an hour and has a range of 40 miles. Now, let me let me be clear about the range and, and all of that. So if you ever decide to look at getting a scooter, don't ever go by the advert the advertisement or whatever you see or maybe on the box because it's it's they always add a little bit, they exaggerate a little bit. So <clears throat> The scooter right here, and I'll give you an example. So this scooter here, um, I don't know if you guys can see there, but it says eco mode, eco turbo and single dual. The way that I would get, the way that I would be able to get a 40 mile range is I would have to have this in eco and single. Now, when you go in eco mode, <clears throat> what it does is it tops your top speed out at 15 miles an hour. So it's a little bit slower. And especially if you're riding through town, you may sometimes want to get, uh, go a little bit faster. Um, I know like when I ride to work, there is a bike trail. If I ride the bike trail on Grand Boulevard from my house to, to Capitol Hill, 15 miles an hour is okay because I'm on the bike trail. Actually going faster than 15 on the bike trail could be kind of dangerous. So, <clears throat> But when I'm gonna do a ride like today, nah, 15 isn't gonna cut it. So today's gonna to kinda of be a good test as well to see my buddy lives about 13 miles from my house. So it'll be about 26 miles. I wanna see how it does. I'm gonna ride it a little bit in eco as I ride through Midwest City. I've heard Midwest City, they're not, they don't look so kindly on electric scooters. So I'll probably have to stay on the sidewalk in Midwest City. I'll be doing 15 but when i get out past and again if you're in oklahoma city you'll know what i'm talking about past douglas where it gets more of the country i'm gonna go ahead and put it in turbo and see how it does and see how it does battery capacity so getting back to the varla <clears throat> um 
So the Volvo scooter, as you can see, it has has disc brakes. Um, the tires are are the tires are air tires. They're not the solid tires. There are scooters that have just solid rubber tires. I've heard those are really good because you don't get flats. On the other hand, they're not so great. They're not that comfortable. So you got your disc brakes, and here are a couple things that I have added. But first, let me talk a little bit about here. So <clears throat> this thing does come with a key. No key, and this thing doesn't start. So it comes with a key. Right here is where you will see your voltage. Um, and there's a chart, I'm not gonna go into that right now, but there's a chart that you can see that tells you um, what your battery is at, like what percentage is at. Here's your throttle, how you accelerate. And of course you have not one, a lot of, a lot of scooters have just one brake. This one actually has two brakes. Has your bell. <clears throat> Let's see if I can, I never really ring this. Not very loud, but I guess it does a trick. And then a few things that I have added, I have added a, a light. <clears throat> and this thing does have, when you turn it on, it does have column headlights. You can see right there, both sides of the headlight. I did add that Apple sticker. This is not an Apple scooter. <laughs> I just had to put that sticker somewhere. And it also has red tail lights. And the cool thing about the tail lights the ones right here I added this but the cool thing about the tail lights is that when you do break they do get they do have like brake lights I also added these frame sliders just in case I ever do lay it down uh, these frame sliders should protect my frame and especially the disc from being from being damaged I added the mirror which I think is an amazing idea if you ever do get one of these get a mirror the mirror also on this side that Z it lights up <clears throat> Uh, when you're riding at early in the morning or at night. I added a bag. The bag has um, a couple of uh, simple tools. Um, and of course I have my GoPro clamps that I'll need for the ride later. So yeah, this is the Varla Eagle One. Oh yeah, charging, charging. As you can see, this thing has two charging ports. It comes with just one charger, but you can buy a second charger, and what that does is it cuts your charging time in half. So if I were to drain this thing completely to maybe 10% or under 10% with one charger, it will take six to eight hours to charge back up. With two chargers, that cuts it from six to eight hours to three to four hours. So it basically cuts your charging time in half. And actually today, I may take the chargers out there just to, when I get to my buddy's house, charge it back up a little bit because I'm thinking I'm gonna ride out there. It's kind of hilly out there as you guys will see. And I wanna, I, I really wanna have some fun today without worrying too much about it going dead on me. So anyway guys, this is the newest member to the Insco Adventure family. This is the Varla Eagle One. And yes, I'm gonna be out today. I'm gonna go out for a ride and uh, We'll see how this does. Here we go. <clears throat> Power on. This thing also has three gears. Um, hit the mode button, gear one. Max is out at 25. Gear two, no, I, I think gear one is actually 15. Gear two, even if you have it in turbo, um, the difference will be in acceleration. Gear 2, 25, and then gear 3 is full 40. And we're going to ride this turbo right now till we get to the sidewalk over in Del City. And I think Del City is doing a parade, so let's see how we do getting through the parade barricades. <clears throat>
<clears throat> Same laws apply when you're on a bicycle. going to try to get through <clears throat> by using the sidewalk <clears throat> I'm going to take some back roads till I get to Sooner Road so I can get through the parade.
So this is the border between Dell City and Midwest City. I'm gonna try to get over there on that sidewalk and try to do most of Midwest City on the sidewalk so I don't get pulled over and get a ticket. Well, that was not a good idea. I think we're gonna keep the GoPro off the front tire. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna keep riding.
got it in eco mode still save battery but man i've never been on this sidewalk <clears throat> whenever i ride my bike through here i'm always on the road this sidewalk is nice So now I'm at Douglas and 29th in the city, and as you guys can see, there's no more sidewalk on either side of the street. Back there, I did switch to the north side of the street, and uh, that's sidewalk all through the good chunk of Midwest City. So now I'm gonna put this thing in turbo, gonna bump it up about 35, 40 miles an hour, and we'll get through, hopefully, the rest of Midwest City without any problems. We shall see. Choctaw and about to go north to 15th and then uh, 
over to the old baboon's house.
well. Oh man. Made it back home. Um, batteries down to 50.8 volts. Still got three bars left and I was cruising kind of fast that time. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. This is my review of the, and actually this is the longest ride I've ever done on the scooter about 26 miles today so if you're thinking about getting an electric scooter I would recommend the Varla Eagle one um, unless you're wanting to do like 50 plus miles then you might want to get something else but anyway guys um, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time right here on Inscos Adventures